Hi students, um, hope that you are doing well at home. So we are moving on to um, not really a new topic. We have done a little bit on that uh, last week when we construct when we constructed uh, triangles. So today again, I'm going to, uh, again want to reinforce on how to measure angles uh, and also how to construct uh, nets of three D objects. So um, again, uh, there's no chance for me to demonstrate uh, in the classroom. So I will use a virtual protractor to actually tell you how to go about measuring so you need to again take note of a protractor you know move it around okay take note of it okay there is a base to the protractor and you always use this corner mark here can you see this this corner mark here as the reference point when you are measuring an angle so since you have an angle here I will just you know use it as an example so move the protractor slowly move it slowly and make sure it's aligned to the reference point Okay, somewhere around there, yeah, I think it's quite accurate. So once you put it together, oh, it seems like this angle is about, what, 39? 39, about 39 degrees? Okay, for this question, okay, 39 degrees. So let's move on to another one, okay? This is an acute angle. Acute angles are angles that are less than 90 degrees. Okay, what about the next one? Oh, what about this obtuse angle? So how do we go about measuring these obtuse angles? Obtuse angles are angles between you no know, more than 90 but less than 180. So we have this angle here again. You rotate the protractor a little bit. Okay, adjust. Okay, it's too much. I rotate it again. In fact, if, if you are not using this virtual one, it's not so much easier, isn't it? So my uh, so it's slightly more difficult. So I move it slightly again to the reference point, getting closer. Okay, it's about there. About there. Okay, so I'm at this angle. Since this is an obtuse, it must be more than 90. So it's 110. So this one is probably about 103 to 104 degrees. Closer to 104. Sorry, 114 degrees. Okay, this is closer to 114 degrees. So this angle is 114 degrees. Okay, got it? That's an obtuse angle. Okay, what about this tricky one? Oh no, what happens if you have a reflex angle? Say, so Mr. Leo. This protractor only measures up to 180 degrees. How do I go about solving this? Not to worry. Okay, we can use the concept of measuring an acute angle first. Then to get the reflex, it's basically 360 degrees minus the acute angle to get the answer. Okay, so let's work it out. Okay, so for this case, uh, okay, let me move it. Move it slowly. Okay, now it's still too much. A little bit more. A little bit more. Okay, seems good. So I'll put it at the mark. Okay, seems good. Yeah. This is about twenty-seven degrees. Okay, so it's twenty-seven degrees. So I'm going to use. Okay, so this part here is twenty-seven degrees. So to find angle C, so angle C will be just 360 degrees minus 27 degrees, which is 333 degrees. So that is the value of angle C. Okay, got it everyone? Huh? So because angle C is a reflex angle, it's a quite big angle. Okay, it's 333 degrees. Got it everyone? Good, let's move on. Okay, that's how you measure the reflex angle huh? in this in this part of the book. Okay, you have to uh, measure the reflex angle. Okay, moving on to the next part of the question. So, how do we go about measuring um the angles given? So, for example, they say angle A B C. We got to find where is angle A B C. So we go by the order A B C. So the angle that is formed in the middle is this part here, A B C. So this is the angle that I'm interested. Okay, so you so that's the angle, and then from there you put your protractor over and you measure it. Yep, it's about 70 degrees. That's for part A. Okay, I'll do another one for you. Um maybe I'll do the, the last one here. Okay, so let's look at this E A B. E A B. So we're looking at this angle. So that's why it's that's the angle we mark it, and you put a protractor there, and you measure it. And it is about 
70 degrees too. Oh, what a coincidence. Okay, so make sure you measure uh, the other three angles uh, accurately. Okay, now moving on to the next one. Um, um, we, are, we are required to draw a net of this, uh, this box here. And they are given a scale. Uh, the scale is given here. Uh, 10 mm on the paper represent 2 cm on the box. Okay, so uh, I'm going to draw the first part here, which is this rectangle, 10 cm, which is 5 of this, which is 50 mm. So, and then the height is 4 cm, which is, um, which is, uh, which is just uh, 2 cm, okay, on it. Okay, for, because 40 cm, uh, 4 cm, uh, <laughs> it's actually twice of this, that's why it's 20 mm, okay? So that's how I actually got this based on the scale, okay? Okay, next one, we're going to draw the second one, which is this, which is 2, uh, we have the length, is, which is 10 cm, width is 3 cm. So it's slightly smaller than the first piece, okay? That's how I draw this. And then the third piece is the one just next to number 2. So which is the same as number one, okay? Then after that, I will draw the bait, the bottom part, which is four, which is the same as number two. So far so good, okay? So now let's draw number five, okay? Number five is actually a three by four, so which is the same as this, okay? Three by four. And then after that, I will have uh, the, the other side, which is also a three by four. So that is how it looks like on a net for this uh, stapler box. Got it, everyone? Step by step. Okay. So the next one, okay, they actually ask you oh, to design and construct. And you can do it if you have, uh, you know, you have, you have cardboard at home. Um, by all means, you know, you can construct uh, a congruent copy using uh, tape and cardboard. If you don't have, don't worry, um, just draw it out, I think it will be good enough. So I'm going to show you uh, piece by piece, okay? Like for example, the, the triangular prism, uh, Toberon. Uh, most, of, most of you understand what's the Toberon chocolate bar, isn't it? Okay, so uh, that's the net of a triangular prism. That's how it looks like. Uh, you have three rectangles and two um, triangles for this case it is an equilateral triangle you see it's 5 cm 5 cm this must be also be 5 cm so equilateral triangle okay so the other one is a square pyramid okay net of a square pyramid so it looks something like this you have a square the triangle doesn't really look like a equilateral triangle so i have you drawn an isosceles triangle and these four isosceles triangle are similar they are the same okay uh, shall I say they're congruent? Okay, they're congruent. And <laughs> not very often we actually did this. Okay, this is a cylinder. So when you cut it open, the net actually looks something like this. You have a rectangular piece. Okay, if you are not sure how come why is this a rectangular piece, what you can do is you know you, you have the toilet paper core at home, cut it open, cut it straight, and you open it up, you realize that the core of the toilet paper is actually a rectangular uh, piece of cardboard. Okay, take, take a note, uh, and the two circles are basically the, the top and also the base. Got it so far? Okay, so this is how you actually draw net. Quite easy, isn't it? Okay, so make sure you complete the two exercises that I've given you and also uh, some of the questions on my online. Okay, bye-bye.